So patients may have heard of a technique called uvulopallidopharyngoplasty. Probably wouldn't say that word. They say, I knew a friend and somebody did something to his soft palate to try to make his snoring or sleep apnea better. Going way back, 25 years ago when I first got started, a lot of surgeries were done very aggressively to cut out a lot of the soft palate, all of the uvula, remove all tonsil tissue and put a bunch of sutures back there to try to reduce snoring and improve the airway. Really not that great of a success rate and just a terrific, terrible recovery process. There's been a lot of refining over a period of time. And a lot of times now, if someone does have a very elongated uvula that's generating snoring and sleep disruption, frequently that's secondary to obstruction in the nasal airway. And while we're doing procedures in the office under IV sedation to improve the nasal airway that created the forces that elongated the uvula, we can at the same time trim the uvula back to normal length and actually stimulate the soft palate to become higher, tighter, and stiffer. It's a neat technique called thermal fusion, that basically heat is locally applied, not like electricity, which spreads and produces thermal injury and lots of pain, but a local technique where we apply it with two tongs. That enables me to be able to amputate the excess uvula without bleeding and with much less discomfort and also stiffen the soft palate to make it go from something that's very long and floppy to higher, tighter, and stiffer as they're going through their healing process of the nasal airway as well. So techniques now are available to address both the soft palate and the nasal airway at the same time if both are involved in, uh, in the process of snoring or sleep apnea.